Whether we're public sector or private sector town planners, we hold the key to the future of the built environment and the natural environment. If we're serious about tackling the climate crisis, we can't just have a business as usual town planning system. One of the most important tools that town planners have got at their disposal is, is big data. So in the past, uh, data has been used much more in the, the optioneering phase later down as we get closer to application phase. So we may have already drawn the lines on the map before we really plugged in the environmental data. But what we're suggesting here is that we have that data much earlier, even open source data before a project has even collected any data. So we ensure that we avoid those environmental impacts right from the outset. I've been working with the City of Edinburgh Council for the last year and Atkins has been working with Edinburgh for many years. And the two projects uh, most recently that we've been working on is the Green Blue Strategic Mapping Network and the Climate Change Risk and Adaptation Assessment. The Green Blue Network is about integrating nature-based solutions across the city, bringing together lots of data sets from across Edinburgh to identify opportunity sites to address Edinburgh's concerns with flooding and with heat and with enhancing biodiversity. So the role that Atkins played was to bring together a significant amount of information. It was really key and analyse that information so that we could create a strategic Green Blue Network for the city, but also create a list of priority areas or projects that we needed to take action. So Atkins ecologists, their flood engineers and landscape architects work collaboratively with Scottish Water, Scottish Wildlife Trust and SEPA, bringing all of the information together. So the Edinburgh project is a, is a great example of how we use data within projects. It allows us to actually use a common spatial data environment and use that data to help influence some of the local plan decisions that are about to take place within that city. Our work within Edinburgh wouldn't really be possible without collaboration of our multidisciplinary teams. We are able to bring together planners, architects, engineers, economists, people in natural capital, stakeholder communication people, the local community. But it's really important that they work together to actually deliver the outcomes and that really help deliver a strategy around climate change. You simply can't achieve what you need to achieve without bringing these teams together. So as a town planner, I have a real opportunity to shape the future of the natural and built environment, and it is a real privilege to be able to do that. So by harnessing big data, technology, and using the power of town planners to collaborate and integrate into projects, we are really able to tackle the climate crisis. We are able to embed sustainability into the future of towns and cities across the UK. All of that is not a bad day's work. <laughs>